This is Adam from Sonarworks. This video will introduce you to the features of our newest Sound ID reference software. Just like previous versions of our software, this new version allows you to correct for irregularities in the frequency response of your studio monitors and your headphones. In this new version of Sound ID reference, we include some features not found in previous versions, like the ability to customize the target curve of your monitors or headphones with a built in parametric EQ. You can also set the high and low frequency range limits for Sound ID's correction. With Sound ID Reference, you can now audition how your mix will translate to other devices, like well known studio monitors, smartphone speakers, laptop speakers, common pairs of headphones, and even earbuds. This new design includes customized view options for the app, including the ability to resize the plugin window and even zoom in on elements inside the window. We've also simplified the authorization process and streamlined the creation and organization of presets in the plugin menu. Let's take a look at setting up Sound ID for the first time. Since this is our first time running Sound ID Reference, let's make a few basic settings. First, set the computer audio output to Sound ID Reference. From here on out, Sound ID will control your monitor volume. In the left window, Sound ID is prompting us to create a new output. Now we see a list of our available outputs, including the computer's built-in digital output, its headphone output, monitor outputs, and any interfaces we have connected to our machine. Let's select the built-in headphones as our output. We can verify that this output is working by clicking the play button next to play a tone. Left, right. Next, we simply choose add output. Now that we have chosen a playback device, we need to choose the specific calibration profile for our headphones. In this case, I'm going to choose the profile for my Sennheiser HD 650s. After clicking on Select Your Calibration Profile, clicking on Add Your Headphones will bring up a list of the hundreds of headphones that Sonarworks has profiled. After choosing our headphones and any options like Bluetooth or Wired, Sound ID lets us know that our device has been calibrated. Now we see the output device, which is our headphone output, and the preset that we've chosen for the Sennheiser HD 650s. Sometimes I may want to use my Bayer 770 headphones. Let's set up a profile for those headphones also using the computer's built-in headphone output. Click on the device output menu and choose add new preset. This time we'll select add headphones and find our Bayer 770s. Under this output device, we have two pairs of headphones we can choose from, our Sennheiser 650s and our Bayer 770s. Now let's set up a new output device for my audio interface. In this case, I have an Avid HD Thunderbolt interface. This interface plays through my studio monitors as well as through headphones. Left, right. Click Add Output and let's select a calibration profile for my studio monitors. I've already measured my speakers, so I can just import that profile. Here we can see we're using the HD Thunderbolt output connected to the NHT studio monitors. Let's also add a profile for my headphones. Since I've already used these headphones, they're going to show up under recent calibration profiles. This way, if I'm using my interface, I can easily switch between my NHT speakers or my headphones, and the calibration profile follows my selection. Working like a monitor controller, when you choose an output device and a pair of headphones or speakers, Sound ID will choose the correct EQ profile and the most recent volume setting you've set for that device. Here's how we would use the Sound ID reference app with the DAW, not as a plugin in the DAW but as a system-wide output of your computer that's also assigned as your DAW's output. Let's go to our audio preferences in Logic and select as our output Sound ID Reference, not our interface, but Sound ID Reference. Remember, the Sound ID Reference app lets us choose which audio output device we want to listen to. From the Device menu in the Sound ID app, I can choose either headphone profile I've created for my built-in headphone output or I can choose to listen to my Thunderbolt interface and choose my main speakers or a pair of headphones. Notice how the Reference app recalls the volume we set the last time we listened to a specific device. 
Now let's play something back from iTunes. This could actually be sound from any program that plays audio from your computer. Since the Sound ID Reference app is controlling the audio output of the computer, we use the Sound ID app to make changes like adjusting our volume or choosing which monitors or headphones we're listening to. Any audio playing from your computer streams through Sound ID Reference, and the Sound ID Reference app behaves like a monitor controller. Sound ID Reference offers us many of the features of a monitor controller. We have output volume, we can swap the left and right channels, and we can even listen in mono if we choose to. The app also provides control over the latency and EQ type. You can optimize the playback for low latency or for the most accurate type of EQ. On speakers, the listening spot control can optimize the stereo imaging between your left and right speakers. Here are some of the advanced features that are new to Sound ID. You can change the size of the interface or even zoom in and out on the interface using standard keyboard commands. You now have the option to fine tune your sound by adding a custom target, which acts as a parametric EQ on top of the EQ correction profile. For instance, you may prefer a profile that's slightly brighter than the stock profile curve, or slightly bassier, or maybe you want to hear more mid-range. Our custom target controls let you fine tune the EQ curve to your preference. In addition to creating our custom target presets, Reference comes with a built-in translation check mode. These translation targets effectively simulate what your project will sound like on other playback systems, like automobile sound systems, in-ear headphones, laptop speakers, over-the-ear headphones, smartphone speakers, some well-known studio speakers, and even television speakers. We can easily return to a flat setting with just the click of our mouse. Any custom adjustments you make to an EQ profile will automatically recall when you select that output device. So you can see all of these features make our software easier to use and more powerful than before. And with Sound ID Reference, you can rest assured your mixes will translate everywhere. To download a demo of Sound ID Reference or for support, visit us at sonarworks.com.